two Russian pilots flew underneath President Vladimir Putin's private jet during his recent visit to Syria, acting as heat traps in case of hostile missile attacks on his plane. A Russian fighter pilot has spoken of his potential suicide mission during President Vladimir Putin's recent visit to Syria, saying he was ready to act as a human flyer in the event of any potential missile attacks. Two Su-30 fighter jets flew underneath the president's plane acting as heat traps as it prepared to touch down in Syria, ready to use their aircrafts to intercept missiles fired by Russia's opponents, he said. In this case, the task was to meet Putin's plane and escort it to the landing strip, one of the pilots told Rossiya 1, one of the tasks was to hereby cover it with ourselves, roughly saying. The pilot escorted Putin's plane as it prepared to land at Russia's Amimam Air Base in Latakia province, West Syria last Monday. He said that the temperature of the Su-30's exhaust fumes were much higher than the president's Il-96300 PU, so any missiles targeting Putin would likely hit the fighter jets instead. We were flying at maximum capacity because our planes have different speed and it was that we were protecting the presidential plane from both sides with ourselves, the pilot, named Yuri, added. Footage released by Russian broadcaster RT showed putin ing the Su-30s as they flew in formation close to the wings of the president's plane. Later, Putin spoke of his gratitude for the pilots, who were part of Russia's air brigade which has been pounding opposition areas in Syria. The pilots, those guys, I had them. They were not just flying nearby during landing, they descended to be flying below our plane, I am thankful to them and want them to hear and know that. The Russian president's visit to the Latakia Air Base came as Putin announced mission accomplished in Syria. Russia's air force intervened in Syria in September 2015 and helped turn the tide of the war in the regime's favor. Troops and Iran-backed militias loyal to President Bashar al-Assad have won back areas of eastern Syria from the Islamic State group and pushed rebels back to Idlib province and other pockets of territory. Moscow's air campaign has been heavily criticized by human rights groups who say Russian strikes have deliberately targeted hospitals, schools, markets and other civilian areas leading to tens of thousands of deaths. Putin's visit to Hamimim caused controversy after a video showed Assad being held back by Russian officers. Most popular loading next article.